Hello there, welcome back to English for All Subject Teachers, episode 12. Today we are learning about lab safety rules. From my experience as a teacher in that some researchers have done now, making a science laboratory classroom rules for students is a little bit challenging for many teachers. However, if you make some important lab safety rules with clear and brief English, it will be a key for successful classroom management as well as lab experimental safety. So today I'm going to show you how you can organize your lab safety rules into three manageable chunks or categories with 23 important science lab safety rules explained vividly. So fellow teachers, are you ready? Let's start it then. Let's talk about why do we say lab rules. The science lab is an inherently dangerous place with fire hazards, dangerous chemicals and risky procedures. No one wants to have an accident in the lab, so it is imperative uh, to follow lab safety rules. And as a teacher, you are expected to explain or uh, post some rule charts in your laboratory because uh, it is your, your student's safety is first and it's a means to achieve successful classroom management. Uh, this is how you can organize your rules for any science laboratory classroom. Uh, first, you can have three categories. Uh, let me see the first one before starting an experiment. So here you add rules that learners are expected to understand and follow before starting experiments in the laboratory. Uh, during experiment, here you add rules that learners are expected to understand and follow during uh, carrying out experiments in the laboratory. Third category, after finishing their experiments. Here you can add rules that learners are expected to understand and follow uh, when uh, after finishing experiments in the laboratory. Uh, so this is how you can easily organize your lab rules into three manageable chunks or categories for the ease of uh, uh, understanding as well as clarity for your students. Now let's see them one by one. First, before categories. The first rule, follow instructions. You can add a little bit of description in here. Know how to use all the lab equipment before you begin and tell them why. If you don't follow it first, you endanger yourself and others in the laboratory. Second, if you don't follow it, you could easily ruin your experiment. If you don't follow it, you put the lab at the risk of an accident which could damage equipment as well as harm people. If you don't follow the rules, you could get suspended or fired. So this is the first rule under this category. So uh, I forgot to mention here you have uh, several rules, important rules that you can add under this category. We have seen the first, let me get to the second one. Uh, <coughs> read and understand the experiment before entering the lab. This is important. Follow all instructions given by your teacher. Or you can add a little bit of description to this one. Pay close attention to any cautious described in the laboratory exercises. Fourth, work quietly. Know what you are doing by reading the assigned experiment before you start to work. And then, learn the location of safety equipment is the fire extinguisher, eye wash station, or uh, class or place, first aid kit, and safety shelf. Six, Keep pathways clear by placing extra items such as books, bags on the shelves or under the whole, uh, under the work tables. You can add a little bit of description here again. If under table, make sure that these items cannot be stepped on. Seven in the last under this category is about racing. So tell them a little bit of description here. This is a safe thrill because you are cl your clothing is one of your best forms of protection against an accident. So you can put it in this way. Wear protective covering. For any science lab, wear safety goggles, lab coat, long pants, hair tied back, cloth torch shoes, gloves, and the hearing protection. So you have to mention all this or you can easily uh, do it in this way specifically. 
long hair or chill lengths or longer must be tied back to avoid catching a fire. Uh, wear sensible clothing including footwear. Loose clothing should be secure so they do not get caught in a flame or chemicals. A little bit of description to the first statement. Uh, wear safety goggles to protect your eyes when hitting substances. Dissecting or extracting that. With regard to nails, anyone wearing uh, acrylic uh, nails will not be allowed to work with much lighter splinters, bumps and burners, and extra. So this is the first category uh, your students need to follow before starting their experiment in the laboratory. Then we come to the during uh, category, during the experiment. So during conducting an experiment in the lab, follow these rules. First. Always report all accidents, injuries, and breakage of glass or equipment to an instructor or lab supervisor immediately. Second, no eating and drinking in the laboratory at any time. Third, sitting rule. Do not learn, uh, I mean, lean, hang over, or sit on the laboratory tables. Fourth, learn how to transport all materials and equipment safely. It continues. Do not attempt to change the position of glass tubbing in a stopper. I've tried to show you uh, the glass or the tubes in the picture. Never point a test tube being heated at another student or yourself. Again, never look into a test tube while you are heating it. Do not lift any solutions, glassware or other types of apparatus above eye level. Falling around or horseplay in the laboratory is absolutely forbidden. Students found in violation of this safety rule will be barred from participating in future labs uh, and could result in suspension. 9. Be smart. A little bit of description can be added here. Testing or smelling some chemicals can be dangerous or even deadly. The best way to know what's in a container is to label it. So get in the habit of making a label for glassware before adding the chemical. So you can do it in this way. The rule. Be smart. No testing, touching and the smelling and non-substance unless an in, instructor to do so. Or shortly you can say do not test or smell chemicals. The next one is about authorization. Unauthorized experiments or procedures must not be attempted. With regard to permission, do not leave your assigned laboratory station without permission of the teacher. Again, do not experiment on yourself. A little bit of uh, expression I mean description can be added here again. Science means using the scientific method. You need data on multiple subjects to draw conclusions, but using yourself as a subject and self-experimenting is dangerous not to mention a bad science. So these are parts of uh, the 12 rules that can be categorized under during the experiment category. Now let's come to the last uh, category that is after the experiment. So you do it in this way. When you finish your work in the lab, never forget to do the following four basic things. You can communicate in this way. Leave your workstation clean and in a good order before leaving the laboratory. Second, dispose of lab waste properly. Keep solid out of the sink. Now you can say, don't leave your mess for the next person to clean up. Yeah, this is offensive a little bit. You can use the first two and that is uh, important. Uh, wash your hands and any lab instrument is used before and after any lab activity. And last one, leave experimenters at the lab. So a little bit of description can be added here again. It's important for your safety and the safety of others to leave your experiment at the lab. Don't take it home with you. So these are all uh, the rules that I would like to share with you for today. Uh, so for those of you who are new here, you have to watch this video so that you can correctly uh, apply these rules. That is the previous video I have done how to make good ground rules for any classroom. It helps you to communicate uh, well in the written form as well as orally to your students. So this will take us to the end. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you are new here, don't forget as usual, this channel is created for all subject teachers to provide them with general classroom English lessons. 
um you need you better subscribe to my channel just right now but until i see you next friday bye for now